So the championship is now out of the question for England. They lost that really in a wretched 20 minutes. Good kick from Ali Price. England in possession though. There's some space here for England. In particular here for Henry Slade. Noel was looking for it. Noel has got it. He steps inside. He's burst through the defence. What a way for the extra wing to return to England action. Out with a shoulder. And after all the stuff about Joe Thoken has seen. Gone short to Vunapola. And here's the drive. And they've got it down. Well, he was the try scorer in Wales in defeat. Here's Ellis Gench. Just buffeting off the defenders and getting the offload of Carl Sinclair. Well, he's like a human dump truck, is Sinclair. Here's launch free. Launch free with a dummy. It is yet another try from England. They are rampant. Ball across the front. Here we are again, Sinclair. He was going nowhere but over the top of Maitland. And the speed of ball was so quick that Launchbury across the front had the chance to dummy and glide through. He'll rarely score an easier. It's Grant Kilchrist, tallest man on the pitch at six foot seven. That's about two metres in the metric measures. Alan Dell goes back. Comes on George Cruz, because look at this here. Him chasing down Finn Russell. Finn Russell had Sinclair in front of him, thinking that he was the defender. Line speed right. suffocating them, and Scotland are lacking someone like a Billy Vinopola to actually just give them front foot ball when it's not there on a the plate. Well, this has rather been laid on a plate for Elliot Daly. That was superb out of the back of the hand to No. No chips in the head. Can he get home? There may not be many among the 80,000 here who agree with you. But Rory. Five. Penalty to England. Tom Curry again. And Ben Young has gone quickly as well. Oh, and the space out wide. Slade inside to Johnny May. It's yet another one for the Leicester wing. How unselfish is this from Henry, Henry Slade? Look at this, he, he could have run that in instead. He understands Ali Price is charging across. Johnny May is in for his sixth try of the championship. Look at the sleight of hand here, though. There you go, son. You finish it off. Have another one. By Cruz. There's May. Farrell, but it's been charged down. And it's the captain, McAnally, who's away. Oh, he's been missed by May, and this is a tremendous break. Well, Stuart McAnally. Coming off the bench last week against Wales, when he beat 10 Wales defenders in just... 20 odd minutes on the pitch. Three goes Sam Johnson. Johnson with the offload of Price. Here's Maitland. He presents it for the scrum half. How wide a Darcy Graham. And Graham has got there. A chip over the top from Price. Price has got it. This is what Price delivers to this Scotland side. There's the support from Bradbury. And it came from Ali Price, it was genius. He looked up and saw that there wasn't a sweeper. Ben Youngs was in the front line. Here we go, look at this, chips over the top, gets away from Billy Vinopola and steps inside. But look at this line from Bradbury, on the inside there, full tilt. Nobody could catch him. It's a great line to cheer the Scotland. Here's Harris. On there to Russell. The space now is a potential 2 on 1. And it's going to be in the corner. And they've got that. Darcy Graham. His second try in this second half. Darcy Graham on the end. Watch this from Finn Russell. Look at that pass. 
memories of Murray Field over 12 months ago with a pass to hey, Hugh Jones. On that occasion, it was Sean Mayland. And off the back of it, Darcy Graham has another run in on the outside shoulder of Elliot Daly, dots it down. Scotland closed the gap further. And we've now got a one score game. How did this happen? You could not. Really important, Scotland just consolidate now. They... Oh. oh, in goes Russell. And he's away. And all of a sudden, we're going to be level. England are imploding. They have hit the self-construct button. They've not had any possession, and when they do, they've not... That man, Owen Farrell, hasn't anticipated. Finn Russell knows how to read an intercept. Gets in front to George Cruz, and from there, he's got a 45-metre run-in. And with England all heading towards Scotland's goal line, nobody was quick enough to turn and reel him in. Scotland have levelled things up. It's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, it was dropping his shoulder there. White didn't use his arm. Well, we're now hearing that Farrell didn't use his arm. Now, this appears here. to be leaning towards a penalty. Remains to be okay, seen. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, the I'm going to restart play with the penalty accelerated Both of them have run into each other. I think Watt's well. actually trying to protect, protect himself rather than leading with the shoulder. And both of them actually end up on the floor. So I'm going to restart play here with the penalty to Blue. Have you got anything else? That's correct. All right, thank you. For that time of Luke Cowan Dickey. Here's Hamish Watson. Watson, just for a moment, doing what he did against Wales a week ago. Russell. No hands out! Oh. That time there was a bit of an issue. Oh, he's burst through! Here goes Johnson! Sam Johnson! Going for gold! Can he get there? He can! It's a fairy tale finish! Many, as it was, him as Watson ran into Tom Curry. But off the back of it, he knocked him over. Finn Russell unleashes Sam Johnson. Look at the fight of the Australian born Scotsman through the challenges of. That's Curry. Ball bursts through the middle. England have saved themselves. The final score at Twickenham, England 38, Scotland 38.